Good day, everybody. Welcome to the Bible in a Year 2021. We are on day 262, and we are looking at Haggai chapters 1 and 2. So you will recall that it was uh, the prophets Haggai and Zechariah uh, that the Lord used to provoke the Jews into continuing to build the temple, even though they had been forbidden uh, by Arctic Sorry, guys, it's late at night. <laughs> uh, Arctic Zeces. Um, and, uh, and, and it wasn't until uh, Darius uh, that uh, they were actually given permission to continue, but that only came because uh, the Jews had already started and it provoked their enemy then to inquire of the king and the king checked the archives and uh, and, and they ended up being blessed because uh, the king paid for all of it. It was all taken care of. And so we're going to turn to those two prophets now. Uh, today we're looking at Haggai. And in uh, chapter one, verse one, the Lord's word came through Haggai, the prophet in the second year of King Darius in the sixth month on the first day of the month to Judah's governor, uh, Zerubbabel, Ajitil's son, and to the high priest, Joshua, uh, Jehozadak's son. So it was, it was the Lord who, who now speaks. And so this is Haggai speaking, but it's, it's the Lord speaking. And, uh, <clears throat> and he's pointing out that uh, they're working for nothing. Uh, they work, but they're not getting anything from it. And he wants them to understand well. And he says, is it time for you to dwell in your own paneled houses while the house, this house lies in ruins? So now this is what that Lord of heavenly forces says. Take your ways to heart. You have sown much, but it has brought little. You eat, but there's not enough to satisfy. You drink but not enough to get drunk. There is clothing, but not enough to keep warm. Anyone earning wages puts those wages in a bag with holes. So something's going on here because the work of our hands is supposed to be blessed by the Lord. So what we do gets multiplied by him. But in this case, they're working and they're not even getting the normal product of their work. It's, it's just not working. There's no blessing whatsoever. And, and he says to them, you know, is, is, is this right that you're building your houses and not this house? So in verses 79, 7 to 9, this is what the Lord of heavenly forces says. Take your ways to heart. Go up to the highlands and bring back wood. Rebuild the temple so that I may enjoy it and that I may be honored, says the Lord. You expect a surplus, but look how it shrinks. You bring it home, and I blow it away, says the Lord of heavenly forces, because my house lies in ruins, but all of you hurry to your own houses. Now, there's, there's a line here that's really important, and, and we need to understand this, that I may be honored, that I may be honored. Everybody's looking to their own needs first. But Yahweh is always supposed to come first in our lives. Always. He's always supposed to first. We're always supposed to honor him in everything that we do. The first fruits belong to him. And there's people today who say, well, you know, tithes and offerings uh, uh, didn't get translated in, in the New Testament. And it's like, are you kidding? Did you hear Jesus teaching at all? And at the same time, we... <laughs> Man, now more than ever, we need to show honor. With what he's done for us, we need to honor him. We have to have an attitude of honor. Our lives must be honor. Our giving must be a, a thing of honor. Because if not, if we do not live a life of honor, then you're going to work really hard for half the amount. You're, you're supposed to work really hard and your wages uh, double or more. But what happens when you don't honor the Lord? Uh, you work and you don't, don't even get the benefits of your work. You will like only half. That's what's, you bring it home and I blow it away. 
honor. That's who we are. That's what we do. Again, in verse 10 and 11, therefore the skies above you have withheld the dew and the earth has withheld its produce because of you, because they're not honoring Yahweh. I have called for drought on the earth, on the mountains, on the grain, on the wine, on the olive oil, on that which comes forth from fertile ground, on humanity, on beasts, and upon everything that handles produce. Why? Because the creator is not being honored. Then Haggai, the Lord's messenger, gave the Lord's message to the people. You see, the people responded now. But the verses before this, the, the people responded. They believed Haggai. They, they, they responded to him. And because they responded in this way, then Haggai, the Lord's messenger, gave the Lord's message to the people. I am with you, says the Lord. See, it, it's not hard. It's, it's not hard. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your soul, with all your strength. Honor him. Honor him. He loves to bless those who honor him. Verses 14 to 15. The Lord moved the spirit of Judah's governor, Zerubbabel, Shittil's son, and the spirit of the high priest, Joshua, Jehoiadak's son, and the spirit of all the rest of the people. Then they came and did work on the house of the Lord of heavenly forces, their God, on the 24th day of the sixth month in the second year of Darius the king. They're doing this. They don't have permission. The last thing that they heard was that they weren't allowed to do this. But now they've been provoked. Their hearts have been changed. Their hearts have been moved. And, and the Lord moved the spirit. And the spirit of all the rest of the people, the Lord did this. He touched them with the prophecies that came in from Haggai and Zechariah. Chapter 2, verse 3. This is Yahweh speaking to everyone. Who among you is left who saw this house in its former glory? How does it look to you now? Doesn't it appear as nothing to you? He continues. So now be strong, Zerubbabel, says the Lord. Be strong, high priest Joshua, Jehoshadak's son. And be strong, all you people of the land, says the Lord. Work, for I am with you, says the Lord of heavenly forces. As with our agreement, when you came out of Egypt, my spirit stands in your midst. Don't fear. That's an awesome message of encouragement, isn't it? Verses 13 to 14, Haggai said, if an unclean person touches any of these things, will it become unclean? And the priests responded, it will be unclean. Then Haggai responded, thus has this people in this nation become to me, says the Lord, and everything that they do with their hands, whatever they offer is unclean. So this is the Lord's challenge to them. Because as, as we're going to find out, Things are pretty messed up. There's a lot of stuff. We're, we're going to see that when we uh, when we ca uh, continue with um, uh, Ezra, and, and um, once we get past the, the prophets and and uh, what happens with Esther, um, we're going to see just how wrong they are, and how it will come under a microscope with the uh, the law being being uh, revealed and read out. Um, but in this moment, he's just, it, this is just the call to them, you know, be holy, be holy. Verses 17, this is the past. I struck you, everything you do with your hands, with blight and mildew and hail, but you didn't return to me. That, that was the past. And then we have the future, the verses 18 to 19. So I take it to heart from this day forward. From the 24th day of the ninth month, take it to heart from the day when the foundation for the Lord's temple was, was laid. Is the seed yet in the granary or the vine 
fig tree or the pomegranate? Or has the olive tree not borne fruit? From this day forward, I will bless you. That's, that's, that's just awesome. That's awesome. And then um, this is directly for the governor. On that day, the governor of the Jews, on that day, says the Lord of heavenly forces, I will take you, Zerubbabel, Shittil's son, my servant, says the Lord. I will make you like a signet ring because I have chosen you, says the Lord of heavenly forces. Those are pretty awesome uh, prophecies uh, that are coming in there. And no wonder the people are encouraged. And it's exactly what they needed in this moment because they're not strong. Uh, this is a new beginning. There's a lot of things that discourage them. But the Lord sends in two awesome prophets uh, to challenge them, to raise them up, and to encourage them. Yeah. Okay. So you guys be blessed today and be encouraged. Draw into our Father who is only interested in, in you in your love and his love for you. And I just encourage you in all things today, consider him, honor him, and, uh, and see his blessings flow. God bless.